So welcome to everyone. We are presenting a 63-year-old male with a medical history of hypertension and this is like presenting to the cardiology department with exceptional angina and a positive stress test. Transthoracic echocardiogram shows no segmental contractility abnormalities and the AKG and blood test were normal. Coronary angiography reveals a critical stenosis in the um, median artery uh, that was treated uh, with a, a stent in the osteum. Uh, another lesion uh, was observed in the proximal descending artery, a very classified uh, lesion that we decided to treat in the second stage intervention. Furthermore, a lesion was also observed in the mid anterior descending artery within an intramyocardial segment. The plan is to perform the PCI using uh, shock wave, so intravascular lithotripsy. Uh, and uh, guided by intracoronary imaging. Okay, thank you, Dani. Um, so the setup uh, now is that we have uh, gone with real access, seven friends, uh, six, and a seven friends EBU uh, guiding catheter. Uh, these are the, the angels of today. Uh, as Dani uh, said, there is a previous stand, a science 2.75 uh, by 23, in intermediate branch that probably is protruding a little bit in the LED. Uh, we, we are going to see it uh, during the procedure. And this is the, the calcified lesion. You can see it uh, uh, without contrast. Uh, and the lesion could be, uh, probably we, can, we have to treat between the first diagonal and the second one. Uh, so we are going to advance a scion uh, wire towards the, the LED. <laughs> And probably try to perform an OCT analysis uh, before, just to to check this the stain in the intermediate branch, the the calcified lesion, and the areas of landing. So, okay. Yes, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you have any questions, you can uh, perform it in, uh, through our app. Uh, probably it sí. no sense to explain again. Yes, please. To explain again the um, little tripsy because we have explained uh, during all the day in the messaging program. Okay, and another diagonal. Yes, please. Uh, just to check. Yes, okay. Um, so let's do an, yeah, an OCT and let's see if the, the OCT catheter can cross easily or not and what can we see. Daniel Tevar is uh, helping us with the OCT as well. The patient is on double antipathy treatment since the previous angioplasty. Con 16-4 cuando puedas. Ok, have the wire. Es la de A, Patri, y, y pones de A y le das a continuar. Ok, we are advancing. Advancing it is a good case for your tripsy, in our opinion, because the, the lesion is not... Uh, Critical and probably the receiving well, is going to cross. 75. And it's, it's not too long. Now the OCT catheter is crossing quite well. I, I, without los tirones. Okay, I think there is enough. Eh, eh, me pones izquierda y me das un test, por favor. Where is that? Es que le va a meter el catéter, se me ha ido un poco. Ok, test, ¿está bit. Vale, creo que estamos, ¿no? Ok. Venga, pues purgamos. ¿La larga Pero, o la puedo continuar? Yo la haría para, la larga, para llegar bien vale. al catéter. Ok, we're going to calibrate. Begin the pullback. Comenzar. No. Ahora calibra. Ahora. Ahora. No, the flow is a little bit reduced with the OCT catheter. I'm going to retrieve it. 
Check that the flow is recovered. Probably the deletion is tighter than we thought. Vamos un poquito de nitro. No te espera, por favor. No te espera. Pero con mi izquierda, izquierda, izquierda. Sí, te voy a inyectar lo mismo, solo te voy a dar un test. Vale. Eso. Vale, el flow is recovered again. Podemos poner nitro si queréis. Tenía ese nitro, ¿no? Vale, pues miramos. Dani, miramos lo del estén a ver si protruye. Sí. Sí. So, Dani is analyzing the, the yeah, OCT. Sí, so. There's uh, no, no, no. a flow here. No? Yeah, there's no flow. Don't allow to see that. But the, the stand is not protruding so much. The right? little vessel. And the other thing we can do as in a, I have put some nitroglycerin because the other thing was the the bridging that was at the distal part of the vessel, you see. Uh, this is another point to debate in this case. Probably it's better to, to leave along with, with uh, medical treatment yep. because of the things. Of this, uh, the probability of a fracture, a stenosis, and and only if the patient suffer from angina um, mm -hmm. related to this to this lesion, we can uh, address it. Uh, we can protect the first diagonal probably with a wire. Yeah, the blue. Yeah. Dos, no? We're going to uh, the first diagonal. Probably the stent is going to land just at this point and is not going to suffer, but. And regarding the calcium, Danny, what do you think the the size of the lithotripsy balloon? Yeah, let's see. If we need to predilate a little bit, that probably is a good thing. Yeah, uh, not too aggressive predilatation, but a little bit with a small balloon. So this is the more, more distal, more distal, Danny. In eh? more distal, there, there are at least three quadrants. Yeah, and thick calcium. Yeah, this is a thick. Look at that. No, yeah. Very, very serious. 230 calcium. The thickness is more than one millimeter at some point. It's almost circumferential because you have the shadow of the wire. So we can measure the, the distal vessel, mm -hmm. but uh, the proximal is. I think that that is 3.0 or 3.5. Yeah. This is the proximal three part. Five. And distal? yeah, this is the proximal. And distal is hard to. To know because after the les the lesion we have not. I, I seem to you un poquito. I was in the, I seem to you pelin. Okay, yes. Maybe three. Yo diría con un tres y medio porque da. Yeah, three point five or three point twenty five and. Okay. But with the wire here in the diagonal. Um, can we have, nos dais un balón de, de ese mi concliente de 2, 2, 10 o 2, 15 o así. 3 y medio, ¿no? Sí, porque tiene 3 tres, tres, tres distales de diámetro de media media. Sí. So we are going to predilate a little bit with a small balloon um, just to um, secure the, the delivery of the shockwave balloon because we are going to use the 3.5 uh, shockwave balloon, the C2 plus balloon. And that we mentioned before in the previous case uh, is similar than the uh, than the C2, but we have 120 pulses. And also another good thing is that the the, the balloon has a, a plastic cover inside the, the box that the C2 didn't have. 
to maintain the security of the of the connection cable. Okay, um, so we are going to play a little, little bit. I don't know if, is there any question, Danny, also in the app? Not, not at this time. Just in the, in the, probably in the right. Yes, please. Probably there, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. Doce. Okay, enough to form spheres. Okay, the balloon can cross easily. Test, please. But, okay, let's go with the shockwave balloon. Just to remember, it's a balloon with two emitters connected to electric um, source of energy that uh, transform this electrical energy in sonic waves that pass through the soft tissue and modify the calcified plaques, not only the intimal or superficial calcium, but also the, the more thick plaques, the thicker plaques and the uh, calcium in the media so uh, it's a very um, safe technique, easy to use because it's a balloon that goes um, in a rapid exchange. Um, El subway de tres y medio, ¿no lo abres? De plus, ¿no? Vale. Um, and it has some advantages as uh, it, it is not going to ablate the calcium, so there is not a slow flow, not a flow a phenomenon that we see sometimes with other atrectomy. Uh, strategies and also we can protect side branches as uh, we did in the previous case and also in this one um, because this uh, this uh, shockwave balloon can go through any uh, 0.14 um, wire and also permits a side branch wire as well. There's a question, Danny. So we have a question. Mm -hmm. Victor Gomez uh, asks us what are the common things and symptoms of a small coronary artery dissection? Oh, uh, oh sorry. Uh, a small coronary artery dissection and how do they differ from larger dissection a small dissection a small dis yeah yeah maybe dur uh, during the procedure during the pca mm, i don't know i'm not sure to to understand the, the question if you understand you can answer it yeah i don't know uh, you uh, you see the dissections if, if with angiography uh, we can see these lines these these uh white lines after the prelatation uh, and with OCT, you see everything. So yeah. uh, sometimes uh, one of our colleagues, Dr. Galates, says always that these are therapeutic dissections after prelatation. But the, mean, the most important thing is to avoid injecting more contrast and contrast when you have dissection because you are going to increase the dissection plane um, and to seal them properly uh, and confirm after the, the, the stand uh, deployment that uh, are sealed without without flow impairment. Yeah, we talked before about the section with, with a coated balloon. So small dissections are, are we are comfortable with, with them. And the flow and the size of the dissection is important to, to make a decision. Uh, not, on, not, not always are necessary to extend you know, there's a the classification section. from A to yeah. uh, of, of the severity of, of the dissections, but all of, of these things that Daniel said uh, are, are important. The size of the vessel, if it's a side branch or not, uh, the clinical profile, the flow, this is very important because after a drug balloon, for example, you see dissections and if the flow is okay, probably you can leave it like that. We don't know if we are as, uh, answering the question. <laughs> okay. Cuidado que no sé quién que hay, ya sabéis, ponerlo paralelo la... ¿Lo has hecho vacío bien? Ah, vale, vale, esperamos, esperamos. Remember, you have to do, to remove all the air uh, slowly because the, the air is going to uh, hamper the delivery of the sonic waves to the, to the lesion. Have time.
Okay, and I don't know if the camera is seen, but I can tell you that now in the generator, we see 120 pulses, uh, more than the usual 80 than we had. Cuidado, cuidado, aquí, uh -huh. aquí se quinga siempre. ¿eh? Pillar esto paralelo a la pistola. Venga. Cuando me digas pilar, avanza. Mm -hmm. Espero, espero lo que haga. So you see Pilar is telling me to wait a little bit just to remove all the air the best we can. Okay, pilla las dos cosas. Así, vamos para arriba. A ver, cuida. Voy a avanzar y así te tira menos, ¿vale? ¿Tienes la guía? Sujeto la guía. Coge la esta si quieres. Okay, I'm um, advancing. Probably Santi can hold the both things. Right. Mm -hmm. Retrieve this wire a little bit. Okay, and this one also. But I'm, going, I'm crossing, you can see the terapia, Patri. Sí. El amarillo, porfa. The yellow signal, test, please, Pilar. Yo me encargo de darle el botón. Es. A little bit further. Santi, ahí, ¿qué te parece? Vale, sí, perfecto. Venga. Cuatro. We're going up to four atmospheres. You can see there a slight under expansion. And I'm going to, I'm applying the pulses. And after that, we're going to six and wait for the signal, for the acoustic signal. You can see the shock top is there, the capture of the ventricle with the shock wave. Okay, down. That sometimes you you see this this slight uh, reduce of the, of the blood pressure. Okay, I think we can do another cycle here. Cuatro. You can see the captures there in the ECG. Six. And we worked. Slightly the better expansion. Yeah. Probably we need another more. Remember we have 100. Pulses now. We are down. Okay, again. Okay, let's go. Probably there's a calcium nodule just in at the origin of the second diagonal, six. And this is the worst part, but I think it's slightly better. Okay, I'm probably, I'm going proximally to dilate. Okay, there. Four. Four. You can see the captures there and the pre blood pressure lowering a little bit. A6. Expansion here is better. Okay. Now I do another cycle here. Okay, let's go. The blood pressure is okay. Four. Four. Okay, six. Probably this is a concentric calcified lesion. Voy a ver en otra proyección antes de que bajes. Bueno. Expansion is quite good. So I, I, I think we can go proximally. Blood pressure is perfect. Okay, I think I'm there. Cool. Oh, this is the 
probably the eccentric part of the okay six. Not bad. Down another cycle probably. Okay, let's go. Four. In the expansion here is perfect. Six. Okay. What do you think? Another more, or we are done here? We can retrieve a little bit the balloon. Let's check. Yes, please. Okay, everything is fine. I think the the worst part was the the one in the distal uh, diagonal. Mm -hmm. Let's do a cine, okay? Cine. Probably it's a calcium yes. noodle there. You can yes. see with OCD. Yeah, if you want. let's do that. Necesitamos más pilar pulsos. Que igual necesitamos más más pulsos. We're going to perform a second OCT pullback. Just to see if we have some fractures and uh, probably we can see better than in the previous one, the distal part of the lesion because we have better flow now. And decide if we need to apply mo more and pulses it's... or not. La un poquito con la jeringa lateral, Pilar. Un poquito más, que no. Ahí, ya sale. Vale. Ya lo tienes, Alfonso. No puedo, Pilar. Vente. Venga. Lo quieras. Espera que lo dejo. Tengo aquí. la guía, tengo la guía, Santi. Vale. And maybe you have changed your mind about the distal, the distal stenosis because I am watching it again and again. And no. Any question for the audience? Any or no? No new questions. Okay, let's check the OCT. I am trying to advance. Almost there, probably I am there. Okay. Me das un test, por favor, para ver si tengo el carácter que ya había metido. Okay. Ahora iba a dejar el flujo. Vamos a continuar. Curvo un poquito, perfecto. Okay, espera que pongamos 16 catálogos. Eso, vale. Vale. Dale, Dani. Okay. Okay. okay, much better now. Yeah. I'm going to retrieve the OCT catheter. Much better. On Danny and Santi and check the OCT result. Se te acumula el trabajo, ¿no? ¿Puedes? ¿Tienes guía? Sí. As you can see, the, the profile of the exoguid balloon is better than expected with a, a balloon of with two emitters, 3.5 in this case. But sometimes it's better to play a little with a small balloon uh, just to uh, avoid... Uh... <coughs> Dani, Dani. No, so we can see some vessel dissection. In the distal portion? No? Yeah, in the distal portion. Probably it's a nodule there, no? We, we have... Yeah. A shadow at, at the distal part that probably is the I I can see the, More the, the diagonal here. and I'm not sure if and sometimes distal. we can see calcium fracture, fracture more dissection. Uh, 
deep dissection. This is the yeah, diagonal, yeah, probably, no? And the, oh, yeah, the acoustic part of the diagonal, mm. probably. This is the diagonal. Is the, uh, the worst part, in, in, talking about expansion, I think. I think it's more distal than it. More distal. I don't know if this is transforming a nodule at some point or not. I'm not sure. No, no, I, I mean uh, near the, the second diagonal. Okay. There is yeah. the second diagonal. Yeah, more distal to the. This is the first diagonal because you this have is a the wire. first with the wire. Yeah, yeah. distal, distal. The distal, distal is the right. That's in the second diagonal, the, 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 the wire is in the first diagonal, and yeah. I am talking about the second diagonal. Distal. No, more distal, more distal. Okay. Okay. Es que te eche una mano, eh? No, es que distal es in, derecha. Probably claro, we can we can see the, the other diagonal, but it's, it's more distal than this. This, this, well, no, this, this is a this septal. Is, maybe this. Probably is there, probably yeah. is there, no? This is a significant hostial disease yeah. in the second diagonal, maybe, maybe at the... Yeah. And the opposite okay. part of the diagonal is the, the worst expanded, I think. And we have a, a, a good dissection there. Mete un poquito más proximal, hay una disección profunda. Mete siguiendo. Así, de, de, detrás yeah. de este calcio. Ahí. Mm. Es una deep dissection. That a five, And uh, at that four, point, five. is 3.5? What do you think? At the distal part. Because I'm thinking in post dilating with a 3.5 or 3.0 and see balloon. So this is. Probably 3.0. 3.0. Yeah, I think. Es una complemento de 3. Because, yeah, more or less the same. No, I don't think. 12. Approximately, it's maybe 3.5, as we can, as we said. So we're going to post dilate with a 3.0, the distal the, part of the, the lesion the that was the, the worst expanded one. Distal. Uh, distal. But we have seen some uh, deep dissections at that point with the lithotripsy ah. device. And mm -hmm. the other question is, is if we need to post dilate the proximal part or not after this expansion with the with the three point five balloon? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, let's post dilate a little bit the distal part. Yeah, the lumina the lumen area has increased. Uh, a lot. Clearly. There are deep fractures in the in the more calcified segment. I think the stem will expand properly. Yeah, and I'm not sure about improving this result in the distal part with more pulses. Let's see the expansion of this NC balloon. I was saying before that the, pro, that the crossing profile of this balloon is better than expected. Pro, obviously, it's not a, a small balloon or a microcatheter, but sometimes you you can you have surprises in necrosability. Me pones izquierda, Pilar, por favor. This, por favor. Vale. Well, expansion is quite good. Let's see another projection. But in the expansion after the work of lithotripsy is quite good. Okay, down. Santi, what do you think about predilating more in the proximal part with a three five, or we don't need it? I, I personally, uh, I think it's not necessary. I I would implant the Let's stand. go with the stand. Okay, uh, dilatamos ahí un poco. A little bit, and I think it's not necessarily more. Okay, but with expansion here. So we can can we uh, figure out the the length of the stent with the OCT, Danny? Yep. Le ponemos dos mismal de parina, por favor. In the proximal vessel, we can see calcium, but it's the the vessel diameter is concentric, but very thick, right? Yeah. And I uh, and the distal vessel maybe 
will be here after a brand, like 20 millimeters. I'm checking the, the, the angio. 21. In my opinion, if we are going uh, from the from diagonal to the diagonal, probably yep. is uh, near 30. It's more. But the, the, one of the balloon dilatations was. No, yeah, uh, I know. You, you need to near go 30 more. from one to one, but we need to go more. Probably 30 something, no? And with the 15. 36 or 38. Like. 38, probably, no? We have very healthy vessel uh, distally, so we can land there and. With the OCT, uh, it's 30 something, no, Danny? Yes, 30, 32, 30 this something. Is... And in the in the caudal view, the left side is the proximal vessel. OCT. On the right side is the. Uh, this is the diagonal. No, we, we have to land there, I think. Uh, okay, 30, 38. Probably is is shorter, but we have predilected yep. a little bit more. Yep. So three in relation to three thirty eight. Science. Science, it is. Con el rotor, por favor, que nos están pegando aquí las rebasas. So the OCT changed our mind because we thought it, this was the ACS case uh, with not a very tight lesion, but yep. as you can see, so very very critical lesion. The OCT is other business. <laughs> and this is another key point of using lithotripsy without intracranial imaging. Probably you are going to succeed in the majority of cases because it's a very easy technique. But if you want to complete um, the best you can, then your work uh, in the current imaging is, is needed in these complex and calcified lesions. Proceed your IBUS. Let's see how the stand advance. It is struggling a little bit here, pro probably, is the production of the other mm -hmm. stand. It has crossed, right? Okay, let's see the distal part of this, please. This. I think I'm there. And the proximal one, I don't know if there is a better projection. I am not sure. Maybe you can go a little bit uh, distal. No? Right, this, please. In, not in this projection. Oh, looks good. A little bit more Look, distal, yes? No, no, no. Lo looks good, the, this okay. projection. Let's do a cine, just to check. Cine? Okay, no? I think it's good. Let's go. Twelve, fourteen. Okay, maintain it. The spacing is quite good here. Let's check in the orthogonal projection. Quite good. Okay, going down. Eh, un balón en ese tres y medio ocho tenemos. Test, please. Ocho, ocho. We are going to do pot. Uh, we don't have a lot of distance between the, the the first diagonal and the proximal edge of the stand. So we're <coughs> going to use a 3.5 by 8 non-compliant balloon. And then we can check again with OCT the final result that in, in Angio looks very good. Any question? There is no question. No, no new question. All the people mm -hmm. knows everything about Litotripsy and OCT. We are using a seven French guiding catheter just 
because in, here in the complex cases, we are always uh, using, always, almost always using it if we can, just in case you need uh, to, com to combine it with Rotablator or with something. But uh, you can do literature uh, through a six friends conventional uh, guiding catheter. And probably this case can be done with that. Oh, here, yes. the stem bush is not so good. I don't know. Let's check what was the stem position there. Okay, just the distal part of the balloon at the origin of the diagonal. No me distes. Probably there. Okay. Go. Oh. Okay, perfect. 14. <clears throat> Okay, down. I think it's enough if the OCT agrees of the pillar. Okay. We are working in the data about the national registry, which is going to be presented in a couple of weeks. And probably, I don't have the results, but probably the, the numbers of literacy are going to increase a lot exponentially because as you see, it's a very easy and safe technique with a learning curve much easier than, than other atherectomy devices. But we really believe it, that if you're doing complex PCA and classified lesion, you, you need to manage all of them because sometimes uh, they are complementary. Probably 50% of cases you need to perform rota or orbital before or laser before uh, before lithotripsy because the, the balloon cannot cross a critical stenosis and the combination of, of these techniques are a very good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the OCT catheter. Okay. I think I'm there. Mm -hmm. uh, Continue, por favor, Isabel. Dale a continuar. Curva un poco. Cuando queráis. Start. Okay. Begin. ¿Tiene pilar? Ok, let's check. Okay, so tienes la versión de estar. No yo la dejaría estar. No estoy seguro que sea un milking, pero la dejaría estar. Es un distal vessel, un vaso ya muy distal. It's not very good contrast, but. Okay, let's see it. Nice. No edge dissection, no distal edge dissection, same. The expansion looks very good. Good, very good. Yeah. Okay. Some sometimes the the recognition of the of the vessel uh, lumen is not is not good. So the measurements, for for example, in this point, uh, seventy nine percent yeah, is not is yeah, not correct. Not correct. No, yeah. yeah, it's not true. No, but you, you can see the struts. Yeah, not the, the this side, a, this is circle, but circular. the the circular mm -hmm. dots. No, and the position and the expansion is quite good here. Perfect. And uh, more proximally. Good about so more, there is yeah. Uh, no, it is not a perfect circle, but the, no, the, but the area is pretty the area is quite good. Here's the, this is the, the diagonal, diagonal with the wire, no? Okay. And more proximal. Um, you can see the proximal edge. We of are the in end. the bot zone. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
in the fourth segment and we can see the position the position is very good and the expansion is any dissection in the proximal edge and there no, are no, no dissections in the proximal okay we, very, can, very, very the result is very we can put another do another projection probably and and probably we have finished let's see yeah we can see the the runs the diagonal runs with the wire mm -hmm. that is open and it's good i'm going to retrieve the wires maybe another diagonal okay, this one so that's yeah, the result is very good uh, the is out. Mm. I think we can well, avoid this, this projection because we, we have the OCT and this one, and also a caudal before that, and we have OCT. So it's the, the best, yeah. the best thing. It's not, so I think we have completed the case. Um, if there is no question in the, in the app, no, there is no, no question. question. No. So thank you for your attention and. See you next uh, Wednesday here in, in Madrid. Bye-bye. Thank you.